Hello everyone, this is Philip from Buringa Wilhelmi here at Lake Constance and today we'd like to share a special stretching and boxing routine for you that you can do at home during these challenging times. First, what we're going to do, we start with a little stretching routine. This stretching routine you can do easily in the morning after you just got out of bed, you still maybe feel a little bit stiff, a little bit sore. First, we need to focus on our stance for the first stretching routine. What we're gonna do, we're gonna stand shoulder width, hips up, and now we're gonna stretch our spine and neck. Imagine someone is pulling a string. Make sure your spine is straight. And now what we're gonna do, we start bobbing very easily, nice and loose. Now we're gonna focus on our breath, deep belly breathing inside the belly and bobbing. Make those liquids in your joint floating again. And now slowly you will turn your body. Your head moves first and the body follows very easily. Just gonna turn around so you see up front. This you can do for about 30 seconds up to one minute. You might hear a little cracking in your joints. That's good. You wanna get them nice and loose. After a minute, you start moving your arms. You bring your arms in. Again, head moves first, the body follows. You can slowly increase the speed and the strength. After a couple of seconds, you just bring your hit in and pivot your feet. You can hear the snap. This is what you want to hear. This exercise actually comes from the traditional Chinese boxing, which can be transformed into a punch. White hook, white hook, white hook. But for now, we just want to relax and stretch our shoulders, loosen our back and hip. Okay, after a minute, we focus on our posture again. Hip in, straight your back. Fists up, elbows tuck in. Now we're gonna imagine that we grab something that is in front of us, but something is pushing us back or holding us back. You really wanna imagine like you're reaching forward, extend the shoulder, take your fist up to your chin for protection and stretch out. Stretch out, you really wanna stretch and feel the stretch between your shoulder blades and your shoulders. You really wanna grab, hold tight to it, pull it back, grab, pull it back. This we're only going to do for five times on each side. Okay. All right, loosen up a little bit. Next stretch, we reach for the stars again. Elbows in, stretching your spine, move the hip, reach for the stars. And imagine your feet are glued to the ground, so you get the double stretch like someone is pushing you down, but on the same side, you are reaching up. Imagine grabbing a foot, pulling it down. Five on each side. Okay. Next step, we're gonna do a little pre-warm up for rope skipping. We're gonna start with easily jumping from one feet to another, very easily. Nice and loose one side to the other side don't forget to breathe now we stretch out our arms and we start making tiny little circles those circles are getting bigger and bigger and bigger now we reverse by turning our hands now palms upwards, opposite direction. Make them cycle uh, circles smaller again. Don't forget to breathe. Yeah. Palms up, small circles. Now we bring our arms in front, and we cross our hands. Up, down, up, down. And slowly moving up. We move down. 
Up and down. Up and down. Okay. Loosen up again. Now we're gonna start stretching our shoulders and our chest. Again, pivot your feet to get a nice rotation. All right, now you should feel it in your chest and your shoulders. And now we're ready for some rope skipping. If you don't have a rope, there's no excuse. You can still jump, just be like, just we did before, jumping from one leg to the other, fist up, fighting stance, and just jump with us. If you don't have a skipping rope. This is your next challenge. If you don't have one, go buy one. There are great tutorials on YouTube, and it takes just about 20 minutes, and you're good to go. First, we're gonna start for a three minute rope skipping. There are different variations that you can do very easily from one side to the other. You can play with your footwork and you can jump back, front, back, front, side, side. Up to you, depending on your level. Even your legs up, up to you, all right? Three minutes. Let it count down, watch, count down. After three minutes, you put the rope down. Now we're gonna do endurance boxing, which means fists up, elbows in again. On each step, you do one punch, one, two, one, two. Turn those fists in. You don't want to throw like this or like this. It keeps you preventing from snapping your elbow. This really hurts. Again, one, two, one, two. And then you go faster. This should do for 30 seconds. It should look like this. If you advance, bring those knees up. 30 seconds, go, full speed. After 30 seconds, no break, keep rope skipping again. Another three minutes, rope skipping. After three minutes, comes to number two. Put on the rope, same exercise like before, but now we're gonna punch up, punch up. Tuck your chin in, protect your head at all time, and throw those punches high up in the air. Oh. If you want again, bring those knees up. Okay, 30 seconds over, rope skipping again. So before we start with some box combination, we need to focus on our fight stance first. It's actually not that hard, it's very easy to move into a fight stance. What you could do if you're right-handed. If you're lefty, that means softball, you just do the reverse. So all we're gonna do, we take the width of our hip, we turn our right foot 90 degrees, then you turn it again and you just make a very tiny step like you, like someone is pushing you back, boom. This is your natural fight stance. The heel of my front foot should be aligned with the forefoot. You're not standing like this, as I mentioned before, you have a little space in between. Now what we're gonna do, eh? with each step, we move into our shoulder. One, two, we come back to our fight stance. One, two, the same goes back. Okay, back, fight stance again. Forward. You can march down your hallway, in your apartment, wherever you are, on your balcony. If you reach a corner, go backwards or turn out by pivoting over your front foot. Very easy. You can do it in all corners, in all directions. Once you figure that out, we use our fists now. Back, forward, back. We start marching, we play. Get the coordination. If you get, if you get a little bit distracted, don't worry. Focus on your stance again. Hold on for a second and then slowly start again. It's like dancing or marching. Don't forget to turn your fists. You can move forward. So don't forget the shoulder. Come back. Go back, go back, fight. You can play a little bit in your apartment, in your living room. The same goes with the jab, what we learned before. 
but let's just keep it for the jab cross at the moment all right now we move to our first box combination now our legs should be warm and we start with our first box combination we move into fight stance again all we do now we do a micro step forward just a couple of inches or centimeters we focus that our main weight is on our left foot one and now we bring the punch in they go in sync all right very fast once we figure that out we do a retreating step it's the same with the jab the lead hand you just take a small step back you always come back in the fight stance now let's combine those two we do front back front back front back always keep your hand close to your chin for protection the next one from there we do a pivot cross which means put our shoulders in you see my leg is like a spring where i push myself forward and bring those hips in and we come back so the combination will look one two whoop, and we are back in front one two whoop. You can throw to the belly or in the face. Whop, whop, whop. Back to the fight step. The next one would be jab, cross. So we do. Whop, back, one, two. That's two little tiny steps. We do one, two. Back on the fight step. And we come back. You can play a little bit with it. Relax, do this for three minutes, throw a little jab from time to time in there, focus on the combination. You can start walking again and throw the jab. And then focus on the combination again. One, two, whoop, and then one, two, whoop. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, Puhinga will help me. Thank you, stay healthy, see you soon, bye.